What's up guys, Kevin here with TLD, bringing you my first hour impressions of Saints Row the Third for the Xbox 360, which is also available on the PS3 and PC. And I have to say, after about an hour of gameplay, that it is one of the most ridiculous games I've played, and I mean this in the very best possible way. The game starts off right away with some really over-the-top action scenes, not only including you killing tons of people, but even doing things like an all-out skydive shooting scene, and even avoiding a plane trying to ram you. Now the one thing that I must say I must be impressed by is the character creator, which is utterly massive. Not just in terms of how varied the appearance options are in both facial structure and hairstyles, but even just in the number of pop culture references involved in your different taunts and compliments, including being able to do Karate Kid style pose or even a Hadouken. To be honest, I found myself actually having to rush through it because I found myself spending an entire 20 minutes just looking at all the options, and I need to record just a little more gameplay to show you guys from the main story. Now, I've only been able to play through the main mission so far, I haven't gotten a chance to screw around with the sandbox elements yet, so once I get a chance to do that, as well as get farther in the game's main campaign missions, I'll let you guys know my final thoughts in my full review. As always guys, thanks a lot for checking out our videos. If you haven't gotten chance yet, check out our latest two vids where I did my unboxing of the Saints Row the Third's Collector's Edition, and John did an unboxing of the Kindle Fire. If you guys want to be extra awesome and approve hilarious pop culture references, make sure to hit that like button, and I'll see you guys next time.